First thing to understand is that the terrain item here basically represents an endless horizontal geography. The meta meshes are at the same level of hierarchy than the terrain because they are another method for doing pieces of landscape. For example, mountains that you can place manually in the terrain. Those two voxel layers of terrain will be merged at the end to create the voxel landscape. The terrain node can contain one or multiple biomes. If you want to create more than one, we recommend to use the biome maps here. You can create and overlap multiple biomes without using these continent maps. The biomes will overlap and blend together more in a random way. Please refer to the advanced terrain videos for more information. Let's see how a single biome works. Starting with the blank project, I simply add a biome node. The biome created becomes automatically connected to the terrain and needs at least a height map, a layer, a mask, a displacement map and a material to become visible in the 3D view. The height map represents the overall geography of your biome this item needs to have a 16-bit color raw image assigned to it. You can use any modeling software to create one, terrain generators like a word machine, or simply make one using a 2D software like Photoshop or GIMP and save it in raw format. The white pixels represent the higher elevation the black ones represent the lower elevation. The image resolution will determine the resolution of the terrain. Please make sure your images are square and have power of two dimensions. I plug the 8 map into the biome and the biome now has geography and it will repeat and tile with itself in the world. I change here at least the 8 map unit size and the maximum height to have something that actually have a size and a thickness. This is done in the biome node. The 8map item is only here to import the 8map image. Now the biome needs layers. I select the biome and click add biome layer. The connection is done automatically because a layer can only be used by one single biome. For example, I could choose to have two layers, one for rocks and the other for grass. I need to create two masks for these two layers. Mask images are going to define zones on the 8-map space, so the images you assign to these zones have to be the exact same size of the 8-map. Save these masks as 8-bit color raw format. I can create two masks that are the opposite of each other and cover the whole height map. Or I can make the grass layer covering everything and the rocks will be spread across the entire terrain. 
Whiter pixel will define the strength of the layer compared to other masks. In this case, you can see that the rock zones are white and also is the grass. So in theory, they overlap here and have the same intensity. But that's not a problem because layers can also have elevation. Now I add and plug grass and rock materials to these layers. I simply assign default textures found in the BMP folder. Now my layers have actual grass and rock textures on them. Final step is the displacement. I create two images, 8-bit color, raw format, create two displacement items, and assign the maps. These images can be smaller than the 8 map and the masks because they only add additional elevation to their own layers. That way I can define that the rock layer has a more aggressive surface and a higher elevation than the grass. I refresh the renderer and now I can see the landscape. A little word on the elevation parameters. With this one biome configuration, your biome represents your whole terrain. The terrain elevation itself is irrelevant in this case. This will be used with the continent maps. Please refer to the advanced terrain videos to know more about that. So the biome item controls the main geography using this 8 map. Size and maximum height determine how big and elevated your terrain is. If you change the size and forget to modify the height accordingly, the terrain is going to be deformed. It's up to you to find the right balance with those two. The vertical shift simply moves up and down your entire terrain in the world. Right now it's irrelevant because the biome is the only piece of landscape in this scene. It becomes useful when you start using multiple biomes and the continent maps. Same idea for the displacement map. You can tweak its elevation in the layer node. The displacement item is just a receiver for the image. The frequency is basically the equivalent of the size for the 8 map and controls the scale of the image used for the elevation. This parameter is directly linked to the original size of the image. If you imported a large image, you want this parameter to have a big value like 4 or 5 with a 1024 by 1024 resolution this will be more like 0.2 or 0.5. The height is controlling the strength of the displacement. Finally, the shift will help you push up and down your entire surface layer so the layer itself can be adjusted in the vertical axis.
The layer mask images can have a large spectrum of grey pixels, so I can use that to smooth the transitions, also the displacements applied on the layers, make the final result interesting when they interact with each other. Layers and biomes basically work the same way, but at a different scale. Be aware that the displacement and the height map will create an elevation only in the vertical axis. Things like 90 degree angle cliffs are quite tricky to accomplish. And also overhang are just impossible to do with this method. You will need to edit the voxels by hand or use metameshes to do that sort of thing. I can now add voxels on top of the terrain, or dig into it. Note that these actions are considered as voxel edits. I modify voxels in a specific spot in the world, which is completely independent from the terrain. They can share the same 3D space and blend together, but there are two different things. For instance, if I modify the shift of the biome here, the terrain surface translates, but the voxels that I changed earlier are still in the exact same place. To summarize, the terrain needs at least one biome that needs a height map. Layers are created based on the height map space, defining specific zones thanks to their own mask. Each of these layers also need a material and a displacement map that will define the look of the terrain and how they are extruded from the base elevation. You can have many layers in one single biome. The biome can be as large as you need. The only real limit here being the 8 map image resolution. Final step is to add planting rules on your layers to add voxel and mesh instances. Please refer to those videos and the online documentation to know more about them.